Hello loves, hope you're well and eating good. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this amazing berry sorbet. Honestly, to die for. I'm so proud of this one and I really wanna share it with you guys. Only takes two ingredients, three if you count water. Let's just get in. So first thing you need is to make the sugar syrup. Now it's very simple, equal parts sugar to water. I'm using one cup of sugar, one cup of water. You can do it with a mug, you can use tablespoons. Just make sure it's equal parts. And you just wanna bring this to a boil and dissolve it. We are not making a caramel we're not making a fudge we are just dissolving the sugar now i do understand not everyone wants to incorporate you know refined sugar into their diet so you can skip this step and use honey or agave as a sweetener but the benefits of a sugar syrup is that it increases the concentration of sugar in your sorbet which then gives you a smooth silkier and more you know concentrated flavor of a sorbet so just keep that in mind okay i will write in my blog post now for the fruit Honestly, it is unlimited. I'm going for a berry mix because it's all I could find and it's much cheaper as well. You can use mangoes, you can use peaches, you can use anything you want. Now, if you're going for a juice, for example, like an orange sorbet or a lime sorbet, you'd skip this step and just mix your sugar syrup with the juice. I will explain it in my blog post, but for the measurements, it's literally probably about two cups of fruit to a quarter cup of syrup also depends on how sweet you like it or how you know bitter your fruit is just keep that in mind okay you can use melons as well honestly the list is endless now i'm using a food processor because the way the blade goes it really works out and creates a much smoother um sorbet but you can use a blender just be mindful and just help it along every now and again now you see here how the fruit is getting a bit choppy it's not quite smooth yet i'm just gonna let that keep going okay and really this is all you have to do for this you just have to watch it and let it keep going in a food processor i do stop it every now and again at this point i did add just a couple tablespoons of water not enough to make it a slush just enough to help the blade keep going and then i would scrape the sides down with a spatula you can use a spoon or whatever just helping the blender go along you do not need any fancy machines for this you don't need an ice cream maker you just need a food processor blender and that's it okay now as this is whipping i literally just let it do its thing like <laughs> that's all there is to it when i was working at a restaurant we had to use these fancy machines and you know it's just so easy to do at home and it's really healthy i mean okay minus the sugar but it's really healthy really good for you and it's one that you can just enjoy if you have kids or just by yourself like i am now look how amazing that looks this is all there is to it. If you want your super, super soft serve, you can serve it right now, just like this. I tasted it, made sure it was sweet enough and it was perfect. But what I'm going to do is transfer it into like a dish. You can use a plastic container, whatever fits into your freezer. And I just put it in there because I want it to solidify a bit more. So I just, you know, transfer it in, smooth out the top so it looks nice and pretty. Also at this point, you can add in nuts, chocolate chips, herbs whatever you want i forgot to put in the basil i wanted to add but you can put mint whatever you want it's up to you but i put it in at this point and just sprinkle it on top you know so then once I've covered it with cling film, I then put it into the freezer and let it set for about half an hour to your desired consistency. It's really up to you. And oh my gosh, guys, it tastes amazing like way better than shop bought <laughs> it's just so smooth so delicious i really 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 recommend this one i know the weather's nice yeah we can't be outside but sit somewhere nice in your house and just imagine that you're outside okay <laughs> so i just scooped it in you know using a wet spoon which helps it scoop much easier and just put it into a nice bowl and guys look how glossy and shiny that looks that is seriously seriously it was amazing like amazing and this is the texture i wanted if you want it harder leave it in your freezer for longer okay also if you do want to you know have this the next day and it's been in your freezer for long just leave it out for about 30 minutes to an hour so it can soften because it does get really hard just keep that in mind but yeah garnished it with some basil and there you have it an amazing berry sorbet whatever fruit you're using it will be the same delicious turnout if you did enjoy this please give me a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button and share it with a friend you know everyone should have some sorbet at home because it just tastes so delicious thank you for watching guys bye